I have been practicing calisthenics, movement and hand balancing for over a decade. But how well does this carry over to something like parkour? To find out, I met up with parkour legend Jason Paul. Jason has been doing parkour for 18 years. He has been world champion three times. He's a husband, a loving father to his daughter Frida, and in general, just a freaking awesome human being. Since the stars aligned perfectly for nice boys, Aaron Martin just so happened to be in town. Aaron actually started out as a parkour athlete and later delved into the art of soft acrobatic. His persona radiates of passion, kindness and curiosity. So with this crew backing me as I try to explore the art of parkour, nothing can go wrong, right? Hey. <laughs> Today, Jason Air is gonna teach me and Aaron to do some parkour -y stuff. It's gonna give us some challenges. Aaron, it's. Not I have really a little your... bit of experience. I have to admit, he taught me like 15 years ago and then I've learned some <laughs> things. He's really good. Okay, I'm not. He's not. We're gonna change that today. Are you guys ready to see me try parkour? All right, Sandra, we're gonna start with an iconic parkour movement, which is the tic tac. It's a weird name. We're not talking about candy. What we're talking about <laughs> is doing a step on a wall and then changing your momentum to hit another target. This is one of my favorite tic-tac practicing spots because you're landing on a nice and cozy wall and you can level it up pretty high. First thing I would recommend to do is to jog up to the wall and just get a bit of a feeling of what it feels like to um, change the direction using your leg. First is just boom. There we go. Once you feel like you're getting a good distance off the wall, the next thing is you want to get ready for impact. You can land the tic-tac as a precision jump, but here we're landing it as an arm jump, which means you're going to end up hanging on the wall. The best thing to do is to take as much impact as possible with your feet. So when you land on the wall, you want to hit it with your feet first. Yes! Oh, Yes. Oh. Yeah. Too easy. Do you think you could push up and go into handstand on top? Do you think you have this? Yeah, do you? Well, I'm going to see first what you're really? doing. I need to tie my, my shoes. Ah, uh, that's a beautiful excuse, but I'll take it. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Go. <laughs> no. This is way more scary than I expected. <laughs> Go get it. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> you think I did good? Thank you. Yes! Nice. Alright, this wasn't too bad. You did it first try. <laughs> wow. You had anything uh, more challenging for us? This was a good warm up. We're gonna move these guys onto a little bit more difficult wall run to see if they can pass the matrix test. Let's go. <laughs> matrix test. Sa Welcome to the Matrix wall run, which is not a real move. We're just doing two tic tacs, opposite sides, opposite legs, which is gonna have us bouncing from one wall to the other. But this challenge only counts if you land in a perfect stick, meaning landing on your, the balls of your feet, on the top of the wall, standing, you gotta keep your balance. Mr. <laughs> Movement Viking, <laughs> that you crushed it. That was too easy. Come on, Aaron. <laughs> Where are we at? Can I have my angel, please? Give me some. You can do it, Aaron. I know you can. Just put one foot into the wall, then the other foot, and then jump over and stick the landing. That was so close, but it worked! <laughs> I feel so clumsy. <laughs> Jason has something else for us. So one misconception people have about parkour is that we just run in a straight line through the city and that only happens when I have to catch the bus. Usually when I train parkour, we're actually in one spot and we try to get really funky and creative and try to come up with as much movement as possible with a really simple obstacle. So I thought we're gonna do that today and with our different movement backgrounds, we can hopefully come up with some fun challenges 
for each other. Let's put our heads together, see what bubbles up, and let's go. Yes. Too much. Uh... Too much yes. Yes. Oh, great. Nice. Nice. That was actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think the art of bailing out is uh, an underestimated skill. Yeah. Alright, so now wall spin, but with your wrong hand. Oh, I just need that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not sure what I'm trying, but I'm trying. Yeah! Oh, okay. I have one last trick I want to share that is uh, quite a fun one. Let's see if I can do it actually. It's been a while. Mm. Fail number I can, one. I can do that. <laughs> Fail. That's possible. That was the trick. <laughs> Number one, push ups, and then. Oh! oh no. Spot for your feet, yeah. Mm. Nice. He can do a handstand from that. Yeah, I don't need to spot it. Oh! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your hand and then make it easier. Okay, I said push ups first. Push up. Oh. Yeah! All right. The floor is so close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Down. Wow! Oh, okay. Egg steel. Push up. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool, but that yeah, doesn't man. That was actually <laughs> not on purpose. <laughs> I have to try the Sondra trick now. Two handstands. Damn! Right, let's okay, go for cool. it. It's how fails create new tricks. <laughs> ah! Yes! <laughs> Try to save it. Right. That's really fun. Yeah. Not enough flips you can do save, to yeah. cover up your mistakes. Oh. Oh. Hey, yeah. okay. <laughs> Dude, yeah. sick! What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, damn. And nice. stuck it. Ah. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I almost smacked my head into the wall. Let's go up and look good. Yes, yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ha, ha. Oh, hey. Hey. Ah. dude! What the fuck? Oh. Very nice. Oh, I'm happy that with that sick. one. Another core element of parkour are the different vaults where you use your hands and feet to overcome walls or rails. And there's one particular vault, a 540 palm spin, which is hard for almost all parkour practitioners. And I'm gonna try to teach it to Sandra because I think he has a lot of good strength that will help him do this move. And if he can do that, that will be a testament to the value of strength training. First move, and everybody can try this, is a very low risk move to try. Most important thing is you wanna place your hand on the wall by rotating it inwards, so your fingers are pointing this direction. So you put your hand down, you sit down, swing your legs over, easy enough. But we're gonna get more difficult soon. Okay, now your butt is not allowed to touch anymore. Oh, looks cooler. There we go. Okay, now when you land, try to face where you came from. So jump over, facing this way. Okay. All right, now we're gonna try to do a full 360 spin. So we take off, stay tucked, and land where you came from. Put your second hand down if it helps. Or you catch yourself in a handstand. That always works. That almost always works. I love the commitment. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. You want to do the full spin and you want to land in waist support. There yeah. we go. Yes, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Whoa. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dude. Whoa. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's more about getting the hand placed. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna I wanna do one here and I wanna see if I can add on a soft eye. Oh yes! How would you Yo sick! There we go. 
Yeah. Yeah. How's this today? That's that's. Oh shit! That's cool. Yeah. Oh. Oh! That was so close. I'm so glad this camera is still alive. Oh my god. Yeah. So, well, what about we try backwards jump to handstand? How does that work? <laughs> I'm not even sure if I can do it myself. Let's go. See, Come you on. have it. Oh. Dude, that was sick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Here we are. Yes, Yo. let's go. Yes. Shoo. Yeah. Sick. Yes. Oh, look at shit. Oh, that's so oh. clean as well. Oh. Thanks for making me do that. Yeah, that, that was, was awesome. Yeah. That was really cool. Jokes aside, I actually did get some handstand tips from Sondre and practice my handstand push up. So, in some way, you've taught me all along. Ah, thank Aww. you. Aww. Yeah, good tutorials. You wanna pay Let's it now or on. later? <laughs> <laughs> Last spot of the day, our legs are tired. So, we're gonna practice some flips onto nice and soft sand, nature's crash mat. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> a playground feels like the perfect spot to wrap up an amazing day with these playful monkeys that I can now call my friends. Because what are we but a bunch of grown up kids in need of our playtime? To me, it seems like playfulness is at the core of all kinds of movement disciplines. Finding new ways to challenge your body to move in different ways, being creative and sharing this joy with like minded people. This video is a part of the series, A Movement Made Journey, a combination of vlogs, inspirational and educational meetups where I explore different disciplines of movement and meet up with inspirational people, all while exploring and telling the story behind our newly launched brand, Movement Made, the people behind our products and the details behind our unique, sustainable and minimalistic training equipment and apparel. Where can they find you guys? You can find me on Instagram at the Jason Paul, and I started my parkour online courses at levelsmethod.com if you want to learn too. I will make it a little bit easier for you than I did for Sandra. <laughs> what about you, Aaron? Uh, I'm at Soft Aqua Aaron on Instagram. You can find me there, I give little tutorials, but it's also so much about that playfulness that we have amongst each other. I feel like everyone can get started if they just look at what we're doing, and they can start to get a feel for it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Remember to check out the complete vlog for some good vibes. Episode 1 is available here. And in episode 2, we'll try slacklining high above the ground and learning how plastic trash from the ocean is turned into the strong, durable rope completing our minimalist gym rings.